Hi everyone, my name is Ming and I'm with Keysight Technologies. In this video, I'd like to introduce to you our new data acquisition and data logging unit, the DAC 970A. I will also talk about its compatibility with the older models, namely the 34972A, and not pictured here is the 34970. This new unit has been designed with higher performance and flexibility in mind, where right at the front, it has an intuitive LCD color screen, which displays measurements or configuration options in a comprehensive manner. As you can see here, the soft keys and LCD screen makes configuration a simple thing. It can be used to measure 13 different input signals, as listed in this table. But unlike its predecessors, the DAC 970A can now also conduct diode testing and measure capacitance. The DAC 970A aims to improve upon the 34972A. It can scan inputs up to two times faster, has auto calibration, allowing for more accurate measurements for less work, and has larger ranges for various measurements. In terms of measurement accuracy and resolution, this table of specifications should convince you that the DAC 970A's measurements are just as accurate, if not better than its predecessors. Pause the video if you'd like to have a look. Now, there are a few differences for users who are transitioning from the older models to the DAC 970A. Namely, that the slot-in modules for the 34970 and 972A cannot be used for the DAC 970A. The improved measurement capabilities require new hardware, which means the older modules are not compatible with this new unit and vice versa. Now, the DAC 970A offers all the same modules, except for the 4-channel RF MUX 75 ohm module. However, it has a new 20-channel solid-state switch multiplexer module. It also boasts a newly improved DAC M907A a multifunction module which has about 10 times the accuracy and resolution improvement over the older module. On top of that, it has two additional channels that provide the ability to either sense output current when sourcing voltage or sense output voltage when sourcing current. The data logging software used for the DAC is BenchView, and there will be a video on how to use that software with the DAC 970A. Data logs can be stored in a USB stick at the front of the DAC. Interfacing the DAC 970A with your PC can be done via USB or LAN. However, it does not have GPIV interfacing yet. The SCPI command set for the DAC 970A is almost exactly the same as that of its predecessors, with a few minor differences that are listed in the migration guide. This guide can be found in the document library of the product page. Lastly, the physical dimensions, that is, the size and shape of the DAC 970A, is the same as the 34972A, so it can easily be fitted into your workstation or modular rack. That's all for now. Look out for upcoming videos on how to do basic tests and measurements using the DAC 970A. For more information, you can visit our website, and thank you for watching.